I'm picking up Photoshop vibrations. Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. So here's where we're going to end up with this tutorial, and we're going to kind of build up a nice little grunge uh, layered effect. We're going to start with a background image and build up on uh, four layers. Just do something real quick. So let's jump into this tutorial and see how we get here. Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is load those brushes. So you want to select your brush tool and we'll go up to the, our, our brush palette and load brushes. I'm going to load those up. The, all 40 brushes are right there. And once they've been loaded, you can see they show up here in the palette. And I'm going to start off by uh, building up a little grunge around the edges of this image. So I'm going to pick something with some kind of scattered and uh, light grunge, something not too heavy. And I'm going to create a new layer. I like to work with uh, these effects on different layers, these brushes, so that I can kind of work with them a little bit. And um, you'll notice you can't really see the brush. You're just seeing a target here. And uh, that's because these brushes are high resolution so that you can have a lot of flexibility if you work larger with larger images. But in this case, we're working with a small stock uh, photo image of a football player. So I'm just going to use the bracket uh, left and right key to control the size of the grunge. And you can also control the size of your brush uh, up here in the um, uh, brush palette. You can see you can just slide that back and forth. But the uh, bracket tools seem to come in pretty handy. Now, um, I've got this diagonal at the bottom of this image, so I'd kind of like my grunge to line up with that. So I'm going to um, get back to the uh, brush uh, control panel here, here and i um, going to go to the main brush tip controls. I'm going to just rotate this a little bit and see. I'm going to kind of just eyeball it here for starters and um, move the brush over to the picture. You can see I'm a little bit off. Looks like it's uh, going to be around 70, maybe 75, 76 degrees. That looks about right. I'm going to close this, get it back out of the way. There's that brush. Now I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so that I can kind of run it along here. And let's pick, I'm going to sample a picture. I'm sorry, I'm going to sample a color out of the picture. I'm going to sample, um, how about some dark red right here. And again, we're working on a different layer. And I'm just going to stamp down along the edge of that. And I got a nice, nice grunge worked right into that image. Now, what I like to do is layer these grunge effects up. So let's pick another brush and um, I'm gonna pick another one that's not too heavy uh, let's try this one it's number 25 and um, jump back over and again using my left bracket to shrink this down a little bit to get it to a manageable size and uh, again this one has some uh, lines on it that are vertical and horizontal so let's rotate that just a little bit to get it lined up with the uh, diagonal of our image. And this one, uh, we can we kind of know where we're going here a little bit because we know it was um, around 75, 76. That looks about right. But I want this to be the other on the other side, so I'm going to flip it. Let's flip the X and the Y. There we go. Now I've got it about where I want it. I'm going to close this back up again. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to pick a, a different color, but I want to pick something close to that because I think these, these grunge textures look uh, most interesting when they're uh, kind of in a mono-toned uh, color range. So I'm going to kind of get over here on the corner of our image and just build up another uh, layer of grunge over here. And uh, uh, let's let's do another layer, and um, let's pick a little bit different color. Let's get a little orange into it. And I'm going to keep the same brush, but I'm going to show you how we can rotate this or flip it around the other direction like I had it originally. I'm going to go back in here and, and uh, flip these X and Ys off. And we're going to use the exact same brush, even the same size, but now 
it's rotated around and we can, you know, it's the same brush, but we're going to get a little bit different look because we're using a different color and it's in a different location. So you get a little bit different look. And um, now see, I did that on a different layer too. So if I, I don't like where that's turned out, I can move that around. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. Um, I think I want it a little more in the corner. So I'll just scoot that up a little bit. And um, let's just do one more for fun. And there's one brush in particular that I'm I'm kind of fond of that has a nice effect to it, and that's um, the Iron Grunge Number no. Six. And um, this one again, it's going to be big. So let's reduce this down a little bit. Not too much. And then I I want to rotate this one as well. So I'm going to go back in here, and um, Let's see where we're at here. Let's do it negative 76. Not sure what we're going to get exactly. We'll move it over here and take a look. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's try... Um, let's try about 24, 25 round in there. Yeah, I think that's going to work for what I want. And then I'm going to... For this one, I'm going to pick quite a bit brighter color because I want to... I want I want to be able to see this one, so I'm going to pick a brighter, maybe a little reddish orange, and um, I just drop that kind of down here in the lower area of our image. And you can see we're kind of building up a nice, nice grunge effect for our photo. And uh, you could you could build this up as as part of a design or a border. It's all kinds of things you can do with this. So make sure you take a look at our other Iron Grunge um, forty. Photoshop brush tutorial, and of course our Iron Grunge uh, font family. There's a couple of tutorials that you should take a look at for that if you want to see how that would work with these brushes. And all of our products at PhotoshopIsland.com and all of our tutorials at YouTube.com. So you can take a look at all that stuff and see if there's some stuff you like. And of course there is free stuff over at PhotoshopIsland.com as well. There's member free stuff and there's non-member free stuff. So there's all kinds of ways to get free stuff over there. So take a look at that again at PhotoshopIsland.com and we will see you at the next tutorial. Thanks. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras from brushes to complete layered designs.